welcome to another video. In today's video, it's a mobile pumping cart. This cart actually didn't work forever and I was just staring at it and one of the wheels was on backwards. Because the wheels are meant to have bushy, so yeah, it's like just coming up on a new free cart. So I'm gonna mount the, the hose reel to here. And the point of this is because what I've actually done is since I have my new pump in there, it's a pressurized pump that I don't have to turn on and off, right? I actually put this on my water hauling cart. So now I can just go from this right to that here. Boom, with this one here, good to go. And then this, I'm actually gonna, I took this all apart. This thing here, this is what used to be there, and who knows what kind of nasty hose that is. And now I'm running water. So I took that off, so I'm gonna run a custom hose from here to there, but right now, and then obviously I'm gonna cut the wood to make this all connect to everything. But right now I'm trying to figure out how I am going to connect this I might weld some tabs to hold it in place. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, because this is like my 10th one of these pumps over the years. I mean, there's a dead one right there. Uh, I'm not, I'm going to make it where it just kind of slips down. So I got some angle here. And I'm just going to cut little, maybe, you know, like little half inch chunks. And then just weld it one here, one there, and then probably two to keep the back. Because really, I don't worry about it jumping up. I just worry about it sliding around. And I want to keep it as tight to this as possible. And hopefully setting it up like this and using this pump like this is going to make this one actually... That one lasted longer than any one before automatic uh, uh, remote control switch okay somehow that remote control switch like it has it's got a drip of water on it set it off set it off and the pump just starts running 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 and just burns up that's happened like two or three times I've been on the jazz got this uh, all set up here right now this board here goes right there. It's got some paint on there. Got that thing hung. Of course, I need a part from Home Depot to finish it. And I also have to take it back off there again because I got to run the hose that goes down the back into the pump. All right, this thing is finished, tested, and I can't believe it didn't really leak. I mean, after sitting all night, Oh, it's just leaking out of that thing. That's normal. So, yeah, it doesn't leak, which is pretty awesome because I got this thing when I bought my house. This came with my house. So I'm sure this is this thing might be like over 20 years old. I'm not actually sure. But I just had it laying around. I had the hose, I bought 150 feet of this hose when I first got the property like five or six years ago. I needed to run a big line from my tank to my RV. And then I just moved the tank after it was empty. So then I had all this hose for years, not really doing much with it. I have some of it busy, but you know. But now I used to actually take this hose when I needed to pump water from the water trailer into the tanks. I'd take the pump and I'd go put it out there, and this is the hose that I always use. So then I'd take that hose and I'd stick that in the tank, and boom, now that's doing its thing. And I really couldn't do anything. While that was doing its thing, there was like, I just couldn't, because that, that well now, I, it's nothing. It's like that system doesn't even do anything. I just grab this, I take it out there, I plug it all in, I pump, I got the remote on there because I had it. You know, why not? 
boom, pump it. You know, and if I got to do something while I'm transferring, I can still use this. I mean, oh, it's such an upgrade. I'm so stoked. All right, like, subscribe, peace.